Happy, happy Friday, people. It's Nicolasa, and in front of you, I have my most recent eBay find. I'm very excited about being able to find this Vanderspeck on eBay, um, simply because when I first ran across it, um, I didn't even know what this was, and I'm new to Vanderspeck and Julio. Uh, so when I saw it, I just said to myself, I'm just gonna take a chance. Um, by the way, this was very inexpensive. This planner was less than $100. It was significantly less than $100. And I thought to myself, hmm, what's wrong with it? Um, so I read the description and in the description, the seller was talking about some scratches and some, um, you know, things that were like, you know, use basically. And I kind of didn't see them in the pictures. And then on top of that, because I am um, familiar with restoring leather and different things like that, I have been selling coach and doing stuff like that for some years now. Um, I wasn't afraid to take a chance, especially because it was under $100. So what you have in front of you is the very beautiful custom Vanderspeck um, personal size. So really the um, standard okay and that's what they call it because in the Jillio they call it the medium but this is the standard um, size I know you see that beautiful beautiful blue peeking through we are going to get inside in just a moment um, I'm very surprised that the seller sold this for uh, less than a hundred dollars because to be honest with you after I like saw this on eBay, I looked it up on Vanderspeck's website, just kind of hoping I would find something. I did, I found that the cover itself is $140. And then I also found that additional things are, um, you know, additional prices. So I'm gonna go over those in just one second. Before I go there, I just wanna let you know this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful leather. I had the Parme, which is the buffalo leather, and I was not impressed. That's nothing to say about Vanderspeck, it's just simply I wasn't impressed with that type of leather. Um, and I kind of was like, I don't really like Vanderspeck, I just like the Jillio. Well, not really, I said I'm gonna give this a try. Uh, what I did is I wiped it down with my baby wipes. Um, if you're familiar with anything, um, you know, or familiar with me, and that kind of thing, you know that baby wipes is something that I definitely believe in um, with the alcohol-free and the uh, fragrance-free baby wipes. Uh, they just kind of do a surface clean on everything. Um, certain things obviously cannot have baby wipes applied like suede or different things like that. You have to use your judgment. But with Italian leather, which is what this is, it's completely safe. And then I followed with my tried and true as well, leather CPR totally believe in this as you can see it's a $15 bottle this will last you up to a year depending on what you're using it on I love this I have it at all times um, it works to restore and revitalize leather it will initially make it darker um, you cannot use it you can if you want to on unfinished leather it'll just make it a little darker uh, regular leather you're good so I did that and you honestly cannot really tell that there's quote unquote wear. I mean, it just looks like a normal binder. You can see a little spot there, but I mean, overall the dents, you know, that you see, it's not worth, like I wouldn't have discounted it this much. I am glad and happy that she did um, because then I get to benefit from that. But long story short, <laughs> be on the lookout for things because you might actually be able to restore them. Let's start with this beautiful, beautiful thing. This is a Italian leather. Um, this is Nero in the color, which is black on the outside. And on the inside, get ready. Oh, oh my gosh, my heart just melted. On the inside, it is the softest and most beautiful blue that I have. Honestly, I'm going, I'm being very honest that I've seen on a planner period okay I've I mean I've seen this on a bag but not on a planner um, I'm very impressed with this um, as you can see I do not have much in here because I just got it today and I'm gonna head to Michael's tomorrow to get some more uh, decorations for it I've already started some of my things over here as you can see I've got my wool balls beginning you know I kind of matched them directly to the planner and I've got my a uh, paper clip that I'm going to use for, you know, a page finder or something like that. I would like to talk to you strictly about 
you know, this planner and how I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to use it um, at all because of the size of the rings, but I'm going to talk about that in just a second. The way you can customize this is numerous ways. You could add a whole bunch of things, but I'm going to talk to you about what was added, okay? Because I could go into the what is forever. It has two pockets here, okay? I think that is standard. It has six credit card slots right here, and you can use this even as a wallet if you decide. I do have a few cards there because those are the cards I only use on the weekend. I do not use my planners as a wallet, so... And then we have something here like a slip pocket. So I plan on decorating this up, um, maybe using this as my washi, you know, to store my washi card or whatever it may be. Here's your Van Der Speck sign. And then you have your 13 millimeter rings. I'm gonna talk, come back to that, okay? I'm gonna flip to the back. I do have another pocket here and I also have a slip pocket here. So this is just you know, my washi card inside with the kid's dental appointment. Um, this is new as well, so I haven't decorated this yet. You can put this on your rings if you want to. I got this from Michael's, so it was only a couple bucks. Um, but with the rings being so thin, um, I did not want to tax my rings more than I have to. You can see a little indent here from the uh, rings, but nothing major. And look at that leather. Look at that leather, it is so gorgeous. Um, the only other thing I saw inside was a small pen mark, which is right there, nothing major at all. Um, as you can see, the pen loop is elasticized. So if I turn this, you could see the elastic right there. I think you can, yep. And then you can also see the thicker strap. So this was two additions that were added on. The thicker strap is something that is not standard with uh, the Vanderspeck. The the strap is a little thinner. However, Vanderspeck is you know quoted in in a good way or known in a good way for its strap being double. Uh, so on the outside you see the black leather, and on the inside you see the blue. A lot of folks are saying that with Gilio, you could see the button over time because it's just the one piece of leather. It's not reinforced at the back. Vanderspeck and Gilio have their positives and all that kind of thing. They they both are amazing companies. Um, from what I can, I do own Gilio too, so they're amazing. Um, I just think they're just different planners. That's all. They've got some of the same characteristics. Here, the back full length pocket to the planner is another 50 bucks. So in addition to the 140, 50 bucks for the back. So that's 190 already, okay? That's without like just, that's without shipping, that's without tax, that was everything. So for me to have paid less than $100 for this, I feel completely blessed and I'm not even joking around, especially because I'm new to Vanderspeck and Julio and I kind of am trying things out. This is a 13 millimeter ring and initially I go, there is no way I could carry a 13 millimeter ring. I put my stuff inside so that you could pretty much see what you're able to carry comfortably. I do have more room, okay? I'm gonna tell you what I have inside so you'll know what you could physically carry inside of, uh, you know, for 13 millimeter rings. I had Louis Vuitton before and they have 10 millimeter rings that come with it and those are completely so small that like everyone always goes up to the 16. So when I found out that this had 13, I'm like, I'm not going to be able to carry this at all. Um, I am able to carry this. So let me show you my Gilio. My Gilio, which is um, one of the newer ones I just got, has... Uh, 30 millimeter rings okay so you're going from 30 millimeter rings to 13 like come on um, I also have another one that has 25 millimeter rings and so I felt like okay there's no way I'm gonna be able to carry this well I am and I'm gonna show you what I left behind in this one um, and I'm thinking to myself maybe you can carry this uh, during the spring when you don't want to carry as much or if you're carrying this in your purse you know um, and you don't want to carry this big giant planner even though they're the same size let me show you that so let me show you how they are, in essence, the same size. The top is my Vanderspeck in my Italian leather, and the bottom is my Campania in the Gilio. As you can see, 
they are pretty much neck and neck. Now the Gilio has the uh, square corners as they're known for and the Vanderspeck has the round corners, okay? You can request square corners on Vanderspeck, okay? Um, they are the same length. I mean, really when you're looking at these, neck and neck, they are the same heights pretty much. Um, let's see, let's stand these up and I wanna show you that, whoops. Same height, okay? You just see the thickness in the Gilio. Not a bad thing, but that's just is what it is. All right, so when I thought about that, I'm like, okay, let's put this to the side so you can see what I left behind in a second. I wanna show you what I have in here. By the way, I will be decorating this and coming back to show you how it's all put together. And I'm so impressed with this, this Napa leather and this color, it's just not even funny. This is acetate, so I have one piece of acetate, one cardstock, and then I go into my monthly. Um, I have 12 months in here, but two pages, a month, a month on two pages. So I have, you know, the, the, that. I have a divider here that kind of, you know, um, is out of the Filofax. It's like a Filofax slip page, so I have that in there. And then I have the... Uh, week. So I have weekly inserts, uh, a, a week on two pages, and I have up till June. So I have half the year in here. I took the other half out because um, I even took the other half out of my Gilio because with my 30 millimeter rings, it was, it was causing a little bit of overhang. So I took that out. I have a dashboard with my kitties. So, and then I have like maybe 20 or so pages of blank paper. So I plan to transfer some of my notes over from the other planner. Very simple. Um, if I wanted to, I could add a couple of um, pieces of vellum in here just to kind of split things apart. But what I plan to do is put tabs on these. Um, so what I want to show you is what I had in the other one that I had to leave behind. And you'll see that most of it is just decoration. That's all it is. Um, I plan to put some... Uh, die cuts here and some decorations, some lace, all of that. I just haven't gotten to it because I just got this today. I was um, told or I looked it up to say that 13 millimeter rings are a half an inch and a half an inch rings fit like 75 pages, FYI. I don't know how many are physically here. Um, it might be a little bit more than 75 to be honest. So all right, let's see what I left inside. So this is really a comparison for you so you could see that you too could carry 13 millimeter rings with no problem, even if you're somebody that carries 30 now. This I bought used, so I I wouldn't have chose 30 millimeter rings. I don't need that much, but some people do. All right, inside here, if you could notice, all I have is some die cuts, a piece of lace, and some decorations. Those are completely not these, but that decoration can go inside of there, no issue. I left behind a fly leaf. I left behind a Franklin Covey um, divider or dashboard. And I left behind about <clears throat> maybe 30 or so vellum, pieces of vellum, a, um, <clears throat> sorry, a zipper pocket with a couple of um, paper clips. I don't have to carry that. Some note pages, all right. And then I started getting into some divider pages that talk about my finance, my um, my weight and my hair and that kind of thing. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this information that you see here and put it in the Vanderspec at the back, just you know, with some tabs in the note section. I don't need to have like separate sections. So I guess what I'm trying to say is half of what I had on these rings right here, or not even half, whatever, was a lot of just blank notes and pages. I, I don't necessarily have to have that. So that's all I left behind. And if I really, really wanted to, and this is just decoration here, and I typically carry nothing in this pocket unless I like go to the doctor or I, you know, and I need to carry something like that. Um, so, so yeah, so to, to, to kind of say, you know, it's easy to switch these two. It kind of is if you just kind of understand what you don't need to carry all the time. Um, if you're a type of person who likes, you know, everything kind of spaced out, then maybe 
um, the 13 is a little too small for you or you go to the 20 or something like that. I'm not sure, but because I bought these kind of pre-loved, um, I just wanted to show how you could totally um, use these two. Uh, com they're comparable with each other is what I'm trying to say. All right, so I'm gonna move my Jaleo off to the side and I'm going to just continue to talk about this lovely, lovely, lovely baby. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to Michael's. Look at that. I'm gonna go to Michael's. I'm going to um, get some other things that I wanna decorate with. I already had some stuff. And then when I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how it's decorated out and, and, and designed, okay? Um, I am loving it. I'm loving it. I was ready to give up on Vanderspeck, not to say it like that, after the Parme, um, just because I thought all of their stuff was made with buffalo leather. That is so far from the truth. Um, they offer such a variety of leathers and such a um, way that you could customize your notebook. Same for Jaleo, but um, when you start getting into the customizations, it starts getting expensive. And so I'm very grateful that somebody on eBay decided to share theirs with me. <laughs> so thank you very much for sharing that with me. You guys, um, I'm loving it. I'm back in my rings from Traveler's Notebooks. I was first in ring, rings years ago and I this is normal for me. And I'm, I'm happy to be back in my rings. And I'm also happy to have found Vanderspeck and Jaleo. All right, you guys, it's a Friday night. I'm going to go ahead and get some rest. I hope that you like and subscribe, and I'll be back to show you more. Okay, have a good night.